Hey, good afternoon, Jason Phillips. How you doing? I'm doing fine, thanks for asking. 2006 Honda Civic SI. Sweet little car, doing a pre-purchase inspection. Down a little north of Detroit, starting on the inside. We just finished up the outside and, and uh, what did I say? Starting on the underside. Well, we'll do a quick review. Already got photos underneath here. We've given the client about 150, 200 still photos. The car was reported on a Carfax with some previous collision history on the right hand side. So the client was smart and wanted to make sure the car wasn't foobarred. And uh, so we spent a little time going over it. Here's what I've come up with so far. There's no uh, elongations in any of the rear die holes, uh, left or right. So the car wasn't, whatever was done, it doesn't appear to have been chained down. The only die holes you can see are above the muffler up here. And I don't see any indications of clamp marks or any place else that they apparently hooked on, you know, if the car needed a pull. So my guess is it didn't need a pull. Down along the inner rocker structure, the pinch welds look really uh, nice, stable. Don't see any grab marks. We don't see any folds. Uh, <clears throat> nothing uh, abnormal or out of, the, uh, out of the realm of what it should look like. A lot of heavy sound deadener there. I was worried about that at first, but then I saw the matched up level of sound deadener and age on this side. So I'm going to take a stab that that is the way it is, Jack. These pinch welds look nice along here too. Really no uh, indication or evidence of issues. I got OEM paint readings down low on the, and up high on the uh, left side of the car. A little bit of a ding right there. Hard to see. A little bit of uh, PDR, paintless dent repair. Somebody stuck a tool in here. I can't even find it actually. It's not, uh, it's not gigantic, but here it is right here. Little patch of area where somebody leaned on it a few times. A couple small chips. I got these all noted on an exploded view so we can go around. A few small uh, chips there. Newer 215 45R17 uh, Michelin radials. Uh, excellent tread. Nibs are still on the tread, so we're going to go with 95 to 98% of the tread. Wheels are all in pretty nice shape. A little bit of curbing like this. Nothing uh, super, super worth talking about. They all look about like that. One wheel had a few more curbs. A little bit of low bumper scuff uh, uh, paint issues that probably could be cleaned up and wheeled out. The car is kind of dirty. I would have liked it to be a little cleaner before I did an inspection. But uh, got a little scratch right there. And then I got a few more things I can show you once the car comes down. This side of the car was worked on. Took a paint gauge all around the car in about 40 spots. Uh, down low on this right side, you can see a little more, uh, probably where it got cleared over a little bit, a little more fuzz in the orange peel down low. You can see a ding right here, a little door ding in the door. And uh, we got readings as high as 10 or 12 back somewhere here in the uh, back somewhere I got some readings a little high there we go 14 had a little bit of a uh, paint and repair work down this right side up high the readings go back fairly normal oops I'm pointing but you can't see readings are fairly normal up here a little bit heavier orange peel on this side just because of the re-clearing somebody probably could have gotten into it a little more and sanded on it a little bit of a paint flaw here a little bit of a clear sag here and we got a ding ding I got a couple dings but uh, nothing hysterical the doors open and close nicely I detect a little bit of a color differentiation on the bumper versus the quarter uh, often common because you get urethane bumpers you can see it a little bit back in the uh, right rear and up here in the left front just a little bit of color difference however this all gauged out true to life four and five mils we got some typical bumper scuffs from pulling up on a curb but you don't really see those when you're looking down on the car all the original shields appear to be in place uh, you know they may or may not have been popped and changed but we don't really see any damage going along here no reason to believe that 
if it was damaged up front, they probably would have fixed or changed this cover. So the repairs are old. On the suspension, we look good. We got cosmetic surface rust that seems to be consistent side to side. This uh, side of the, um, the K member or the uh, cradle of the engine, it's a little bit cleaner, had a little more oil on it probably. Might be evidence of a little bit of a drip up there, but nothing's fallen out on the ground that I can see. I didn't wipe anything down. We just pulled the car in and I didn't let anybody wipe it down, so it is as it was as we inspected the vehicle. These rails look real nice. These are all uniform stock original die holes. No reason to believe they have been grabbed. A few scuffs here probably from a hoist or a jack, but generally speaking, other than the death of that catalytic converter is certain at some point. It's a little bit rusty in the shells coming off this turtle, but it doesn't sound too bad. I don't think I'd be concerned about it just yet. Squeeze a few more miles out of it. A little bit of surface rust uh, on the uh, gas tank straps. A little bit of surface rust on these OEM shocks. You see paint daubs there. You see paint daubs on the control arms. So generally speaking, an original suspension. No damage in the wheel tubs. Let's get it down the road and take it for a drive. We'll check it out a little further as we let it warm up and then we get out for a test drive. 031221 are the miles on the car. Pretty low miles for an 06. Uh, the interior uh, is in very, very nice condition. Uh, no excessive wear on this leather wrap of the steering wheel. Door panels look very nice, trimmed out nicely. Just a few light scuffs in the plastic, but nothing to cry about. Functionality wise, I went through and moved the seats and reclined them. They work as designed, uh, as intended. That suede bolster on the way in, you can tell that is a low miles bolster. Doesn't look like, you know, 131,000 miles, does it? Does it? Sweet uh, upgraded pedals in the SI. Carpets are in real nice shape. The mats are in the trunk. VIN present. On the jam and on the dash, no cracks in the windshield. There's a little bit of what I call stone splash and a lot of dirt. They didn't like wash it before I got here. I would have washed it if it was my car, but it's not my car. You can see all this uh, water spotting and soap spots. I'm sure most of that will come off, if not all of it. The readings down the left side of the car were 4.0, 5.0, a little chip right there, but uh, nothing Nothing really to indicate paintwork on this side, 4.5. Little chippage on the door handle. Did a little bit of an exploded view for the client who hired us on this inspection service, by the way. If you need inspection service like this, 800-301-3886. Jason from Auto Appraise. Got a little uh, one inch scratch up high on the left side. Little scratch right there. Little chip right there and a little chip right there. There we go. I showed you the stuff down low. I might not have showed you that little cut in the bumper, but there's one. And generally speaking, looking down the sides of the car, sorry for all the wind noise, can't do much about it. Looking down the sides of the car though, you don't really notice anything really from a lay perspective in my opinion car was really clean we might notice a little more orange peel on this side just a little I think it was sanded out pretty good here but then as the guy's knees got tired he was like "Ah, it's good enough so it's just a little bit just a little bit right in there not horrible color match looks pretty good nothing to really complain about that's what I'm saying okay those brakes look old rear brakes look original for sure Tires and wheels, I was talking about those earlier, but uh, again, no real major uh, curb scufferoni. Just a little bit of curb action on the uh, wheels. We've got a little hairline scratches going on up here in the door handle opening. This side of the my box is carefully setting on a paper floor mat. 
but uh, the seat's in great shape, reclines, tilts as it should. Back seats fold down from the trunk. We checked those out. We did see a little bit of repair work. I say we, it was only me. I'm going to show that to you in the trunk in just a second. Before I do, take a quick look. The door lines up nice with the uh, door aperture. Lines are appropriate, really nothing, nothing weird going on there. Decent rocker line. Door closes nice and easy. Push for the gas door, pull for the trunk. Oh, it must be locked. All right. Power trunk lock works. Power locks to the doors work. There's a full set of mats. They're not horrible. I pulled them out and took pictures of them. Driver's side mat, a little bit of stainage, mark from a heel. Uh, trunk compartment in nice shape. Nothing smacked and pulled back in the back end, which we didn't expect because of what I saw earlier on the uh, pinch welds. Up here, uh, the consistency on this body caulk, this uh, you know OEM factory, it looks like maybe this got, if anything, maybe just repainted, resprayed. It's a little brighter and cleaner on that. Maybe a little more of a finger like, kind of like that, you know. So there might have been a little bit of adjustment and repair right there in that edge. Uh, original VIN on the deck lid, so we know that nothing was too foobarred back here. Edge of the deck lid feels nice, doesn't feel like it's got a repaint on it. And uh, if they shot this quarter, they went into the jam down here. No tape line really accessible up that way. And again, look at the lines. The lines do not lie. These look good. These look good. All right, let's go riding. The key buzzer works. Went through a functionality test earlier. You know, mirrors, power windows, air conditioning, heat, the lights coming on the dash at first. Clutch in, starter up. <coughs> Excuse me. And uh, everything as designed, except my seatbelt. Windows work, power roof does what it's supposed to do and thank goodness the air is blowing cold today stereo works oh, what else what else lights backup lights brake lights turn signals hazards wipers all that stuff was tested all found to be working turn the fan down car's got a lot of room by the way, I noticed that last time I drove one of these. I literally need, I'm six feet tall and I need to move the seat up. We're getting into uh, 4 p.m. traffic on a Friday. Okay, that was me. Let's try that again. Seven and a 45. I'm gonna have to back off here in a minute, but I want to get up to fifth and sixth gear. There's five, and there's six. There's 68 miles an hour. I'm gonna punch the brakes on here. I got my hands off the wheel, and obviously I'm holding the camera with the other hand. The car stops nice. Brakes aren't feeling funky, despite they're a little low on uh, rotor material. Suspension handles nice. I don't hear any um, odd noises. You listen. Tack is obviously working. Odometer's turning. Gotta let the motorcycles merge here. Spin back around, check the cruise control, a few other functions. Let's see if I can do a little better job shifting this time.
radio up. Red Gordy Howe. That works. Cruise. Set button on the dash there. Set there. Feed off the pedals. All right, we have cruise. Car seems to shuffle down the road uh, as you would expect. It's got brand new tires, so it handles really uh, handles really well. It's driving itself right now. This is the future of cars right here. Uh, Jason Phillips from Auto Appraise. I'm down uh, north of Detroit, Michigan today doing a pre-purchase inspection on a 2006 Honda Civic Si for a potential customer out of state who wants to buy this car. Uh, other than some previous repaint work down the right side, perhaps some bumper repaint work, the car doesn't seem to have any bad sins. Nothing that uh, you might not find on a 10 year old vehicle. I think potentially if I was a buyer on an SI that I would give this one strong consideration. Oil was clean, check that, antifreeze is topped off. Didn't see any rail damage up under the battery or down here it was a little easier to spot. Nothing, uh, nothing abnormal. Car's been running a good 15 minutes now. 174 high end of uh, block temperature, 170, oh there, 180, running 180, some original uh, cran marks on the alternator engine, hoses, no, uh, no suspicious tape lines that I can detect, they could have of course pulled the uh, inner panels back and roll paint backwards but I really don't see that I don't see any fogging I don't see any the car's not really clean again so it's hard to see everything but I'd say overall it's a uh, it's a pretty decent car gonna need a catalytic converter sometime in the future but uh, the exhaust is quiet and certainly not making any noise from uh, abnormal noise abnormal leaking up front or down in the center Seems pretty quiet. Hey, thanks for watching. Jason Phillips from Auto Appraise. Full blown video pre purchase inspection available to you currently in Michigan, Ohio, Indiana, northern, uh, southern parts of Canada, etc., Chicago. Let us know if we can be of service to you. Have a great day.